When you think of Manchurian, a lot of ingredients come to our mind. Cabbage, paneer, mushrooms, soya. What does not come to our mind so easily is an idli. Yes, I'm going to make idli Manchurian. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Rajshri Food. Let's make idli Manchurian. For this recipe, categorically, I'm using idlis which are left over from breakfast. So, well, in case you want to make this with fresh idlis, just rest them for a little while, let them come down to room temperature. Best, once they come down to room temperature, refrigerate them so that they become nice and cold because you're going to cut these into either wedges or in cubes or in chunks and deep fry these. So, first step is to heat oil in a kadahi on high flame and the leftover idlis need to be cut. So, first cutting it lengthwise, changing the direction and then cutting them into six to eight pieces. Remember that. Similarly, let's start cutting the rest of the idlis. It's important to separate these because you do not want them to get clumped while frying. The oil is heated up. Let's start adding in the pieces of idli. Well, do not get over adventurous. Do not attempt to fry everything at the same time because they'll all kind of clog together. Here, another note of caution. Once you put the idli to fry, do not start stirring it because it'll all start sticking to your frying ladle. Let it fry for a little while. Let it get that beautiful golden brown color. And that's where you start actually touching the idli. Also, this only needs to be fried on high flame because the whole idea is to bring that nice golden brown crisp layer on the outside because the idli otherwise is steamed to perfection. Let's lower the flame. Let's pull the first batch out and start frying the rest of the idlis similarly. With this, off goes the flame and your fried idli is done and ready. Now, before we move on to making the Manchurian in real, let's try this one idli. Well, editor, sound band. Well, this is how it is supposed to be. This, served with chutney or tomato ketchup or just a sprinkling of molga pudi is all you need for a wonderful starter. But as promised, let's take this to the next level and start making Idli Manchurian. For the Idli Manchurian, first things first, we heat a wok on high flame. And to this, I'm going to add in oil. Now this is regular vegetable oil. Well, since the Idli is already fried, this recipe is not going to use a lot of oil because that oil that has been absorbed will also kind of leach into this recipe. So remember that. Allow this to heat on high flame. While this is heating, let's chop spring onions. Roughly, no peculiar cut as such, but just ensure that you get a good bite. And for that, cut it a little chunkier. Oil is heated up. Let's begin with ginger, garlic and green chili, which is crushed. Let's stir this till the raw flavor goes away. Well, a recipe like this generally would call for chopped garlic, chopped ginger, chopped chilies, but I'm just making it easier for all of us here. And I'm using crushed ginger, crushed garlic, and crushed green chilies. The next ingredient that goes in are spring onions, the white part of it. And along with this, bell peppers, capsicum. You want to make it colorful, use all the three colors. You want to keep it nice and simple. Just go for green. Well, I personally did not get the freshest of yellow capsicum or yellow bell pepper. So I'm sticking to red and green for today. Let's stir this well. It's important to have a bite in this recipe. It's very important. Imagine the play of flavors or the play of mouthfeel in your mouth. You have idli, which is nice and crunchy. You have vegetables, which have still retained a bite. And then you have the gooeyness that comes from the sauce here. Isn't that wonderful? Just stir this well. At this stage, 
because we are making it in our home kitchens, I'm going to lower the flame. It's very important. If you're doing this in an industrial kitchen or a restaurant kitchen, flame has to be high always, but low for now. Let's add in water. And along with this, soy sauce. Now I'm using light soy sauce. You can use dark by all means. The darker your soy sauce, the darker your gravy would be. Increase the flame and let's start seasoning this at this point in time. For seasoning, I'm going to use salt. Remember the fact that soy sauce has salt already and the idli also has salt. And along with this, freshly cracked black pepper. Now remember, there's green chili already in the recipe. I'm adding black pepper, freshly cracked, and I'm also adding in some fresh red chilies. Stir this well and allow this to boil on high flame. Once this is stirred and done, time to thicken the sauce. And for that, I'm of course going to use cornstarch. To this, I'm going to add in cold water. Now, when I say cold water, it could be water at room temperature as well. Do not use hot water because cornstarch scientifically will straight convert it to gel. All you need is a starchy liquid. So remember that. Let's add this in. I'm not thickening this too much because I want this to be nice and saucy. Almost like a starter, which is nice and sticky. Let's stir this and time to add in the fried pieces of idli. On high flame again, spring greens and white sesame seeds, which are toasted. One final stir and your idli manchurian is ready to go straight on the table. With this, off goes the flame and the idli manchurian straight on the dinner table. One final sprinkling, of course, spring onions, along with white sesame seeds. With this, your idli manchurian is done and ready. Well, this really does not require rice or noodles. All you need is a fork and a bowl of idli manchurian. I'm sure you're gonna find this recipe very simple and very quick. And for more such recipes, follow Factory Food. Bye for now.